Hi, this is Dale from UV Pools. Today I'm going to show you how to test the calcium hardness in your pool water. Calcium hardness is important in your water because if you have too high of a calcium content in your water, you'll start to get scaling on your pool liner um, or on anything else, any other surface that it can cling to. If the calcium hardness is too low, what can happen is it can the water can be corrosive and it could attack things like your pool heater. So the first thing we do when we test is we always make sure the tester is clean. So you take some water, shake it up. You always dump it outside the pool instead of, you don't want to get any reagents inside the pool. So the first step on the test is to fill it up to the 25 milliliter mark over here. And you add 20 drops of the first reagent. So there's 20 drops. Swirl it around, and then we're going to add the next reagent. It's blue in color, but it actually turns the water red. So you add five drops, one, two, three, four, five, and you want to mix this one thoroughly. So you can see it's starting to turn color. There we go, now it's starting to get red. And now the last step is adding the reagent that will turn it from red to blue. And that will tell us how much calcium hardness is in the water. So each drop is 10 parts per million. We've already tested the water so for the sake of the video we're just going to add them faster but normally you'd add one drop at a time and swirl in between. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10 drops, that's equivalent to 100 parts per million. So we're going to add them one at a time here, 110, 120 parts per million, 130, 140, 150 parts per million, and it's starting to change color here, 160, 170, keep swirling, 180, so it changed to like a purple blue, so now we know we have 180 parts per million in this pool water. That's within the acceptable limit. This pool is on well water, so it's something that the customer will have to continuously monitor that the hardness doesn't get too high because you can get scaling if it gets, uh, if the scaling, if the calcium hardness doesn't get really high. Uh, to get rid of calcium hardness or to bring it down, basically you have to pump out a portion of the pool water, say a quarter of the volume, and then refill with city water, or in this case, you'd want to refill with trucked in water from the city and not well water. Thanks for watching my video.